Aqua Remnants Museums. Hello, all my cute friends. My name is Yi Ding Tai Thanh Mai. I am professional tour designer and the best international tour guide in Vietnam. I am living in Ho Chi Minh City, the biggest city in Vietnam. Today, I will feel very happy to become a you beautiful tour guide. I would love to take all of you go to visit one of the most famous destinations in Ho Chi Minh City, War Remnant Museum. War Remnant Museum is one of the top 10 the most interesting museum in the world and the most interesting museum in Vietnam. Please follow me, we will discover this interesting museums. If up you want to go inside War Remnant Museum, up you have to buy entrance tickets. The price for entrance tickets is forty thousand dong. This price is around two US dollar per ticket. Children tickets is twenty thousand dong, around one US dollar. At the security scan ticket control area, we can go inside the War Remnant Museums. The museum has very big yard. We can take a walk around the yard areas to see many different sky ops, helicopters, tank, bomber fighters. We also can see D7E bulldozers. Wasting 40 tons, the bulldozers commonly used in constructions were made for use by U.S. Army in Vietnam for military purpose from 1966. They were used in large-scale ground, clean red project raising forest archers, right field cemeteries to the ground. We also can see M123A1 frame towers, amphibious light tank, capacitor of crossing right fields, and even grounds what a ways the tourists can be moved literally as an angel up 360 degree 60 degree up and 90 degree down tourists love to take picture with all of them if we take a walk to the left hand side of the yard we can see imprisonment systems during vietnam war from 1954 until 1975 when we go inside the room we can see thousand different pictures. We can see a lot of pictures of detention regimes during Vietnam War from 1954 until 1975. Saigon Authority set up prison system in any provinces and islands of the South Vietnam. Of you can see a picture with inlet subtitles. When of you go inside or outside at the corner, all of you will see a lot of bomb cells. All of you also can see tiger case, special shell in cone down shells. When all of you go inside the prisons, all of you will see cyber with the sentence imprisonment system during Vietnam War. All of you keep continue to walking deeper, all of you will know that tiger case are in fact special shell for the detention of Political prisoners consider disturbance by Saigon authorities. There are 120 cases of shark tie in Kondao Island. Excel measure 2.70 meter high, 1.50 meter wide, and 3 meter long. During the hot season, about 5 to 14 prisoners were kept in one cell in winter times. There were only one or two of them kept in it with their feet sucked to the long iron bar, eating, drinking, sleeping, toileting. Only allowed in this crazy place. Narrow passages were reserved to jailers who went back and forth and were ready to harass the prisoners. Talking, laughing, coaching, even slapping on mosquitoes may serve on excuse for the jailers 
to use violent measure against the, the detainees. They injury them with the subject or surveillance on their a lot of prisoner receive serious burns or vomited blood. The detainees meal consisted of handful of rice of very poor qualities and small pieces of decayed dry fish. Vegetable and meat were definitely non existent. Each prisoner were given half a tin can of drinking water a day, less alone water. For parting or uh, washing, the lack of water were really a punishment inflicted on women. Now we can see the guillotines. This guillotine has 4.50 meter high and weigh up the place is 50 kilograms. It was crossed by the French in Vietnam in early 20th century and kept for use in the big jail on La Grandier Street. During the U.S. war against the Vietnam, the guillotines were transported to other provinces in South Vietnam. In 1960, the last men who were escorted by the guillotine were Mr. Hoang Lee Ka. When all of you go inside, all of you will see picture of him and his information. During Vietnam War, Saigon authorities used this guillotine to decapitate the Vietnamese patriots. Mr. Hoang Lee Ka was the last to be executed by this quarantine under Ngô Đình Diệm Gốc. Now follow me, we go inside lobby of the buildings. We can see very big lobby areas. This area has museum shop, however, COVID-19 pandemics now, so the shop is closed. In the left-hand side of the lobby area, we can see exhibition of the waging pitched U.S. soldiers and veterans who oppose America war in Vietnam. When all of you go inside, all of you will see hundreds of the pictures with four different languages such as Vietnamese, English, Chinese, and Japanese as well. When all uh, of you visit main lobby area, you can see all pictures about the war supports Vietnam in its resistance to U.S. aggression from 1954 until 1975. If all of you want to take a seat to rest, in the middle of the main lobby has lot of chairs. Of you can take a seat and watch war documentary films via the big TV screens. At the corner, we can see the main stair, which tourists can go up to first floor. There are four rooms at first floor, such as first room is war cram, second room is Asian orange consequences through children paintings, third room is Asian orange effects, fourth room is conference room. Now we are staying inside war cram's rooms. This room has thousands of pictures. All the rooms have air conditioners. In the rooms, we can see a lot of very sad pictures. One of them I feel was at a GL from 25 Infantry Division holding a part of the corps of the Liberation soldiers who were killed from the grenade launches in Tainan province in 1967. We also can see super sad pictures which told about the massacre in Milai village. More than 504 babies, women and old people were killed terribly. This picture made me cry. Under the picture, we can read the story which related by the Paul Maslow's, the first platoon of the U.S. armies. We also can see modern statue which were made by Steve. We also can see lot terrible pictures which told about lots of babies and old people were killed. Michael, the second Platon, told us, I woke up and saw the guys doing strange things, setting fire to the hutches and hut and waiting for people 
to come out and then shutting them, going into the houses and shutting them up, gathering people in groups and shutting them. This man was old and tremulous. Thus, he could hardly walk. He looked as if he wanted to cry. I left him and her to shut. Later that morning, it was confirmed that he has been shut, and now we can say. Very famous about Nabam girls. Her name is Fonty Kim Fook. 1972, U.S. troops dropped lots of napalm bombs to her hometown in Trang Bang district. She got burned displayedly when she was nine years old. This picture received a number of international awards. All of you also can see all the rooms. Asian orange consequences, two children paintings, a lot of pictures and souvenirs we make by victims. Now we go inside Asian orange effects room. In this room, we can see the defoliants with you by U.S. Army from 1961 until 1971 during Vietnam War. Concentration of TCDD dioxin includes Asian pink, Asian green, Asian purple, Asian orange, Asian orange 2, Asian white, Asian blues. Look, service gas marks you by U.S. soldiers during their toxic chemicals spraying operation in South Vietnam. In this room, all of you can see thousands different pictures of victims who got problems with the chemicals. Dioxin is a common name of a substance with a chemical name 237A dioxin. Scientists agree that dioxin is the most harmful and toxic chemical ever discovered by mankind today. Some argue that S85 gram of dioxin could kill a whole city with a population of 8 million. We also can see some of the U.S. grenades such as CG grenade, chemical grenades. After aftermatch of the Asian orange or dioxins have created significant impacts on not only Vietnamese people, but also American veterans and their allies in the Vietnam War since the beginnings of 1979, hundreds of Parisians from individuals and groups on behalf of more than 2.5 million U.S. veterans serving in Vietnam War and their family were submitted to U.S. courts to make claim against them. The U.S. chemical companies having manufactured Asian orange with dioxin. U.S. President Barack Obama told us, even as we continue to exit Vietnamese, with disabilities include children, we are also continuing to help remove Agent Orange or Dioxin so that Vietnam reclaim more of your lands. We are proud of our work together in Da Nang and we look forward to spotting your efforts in Bien Hoa. We can see three babies were affected by Asian Orange. They have two heads, but same bodies. Now please follow me. We go up to second floor. We go inside requiem rooms. This room is decorated with photo collections. A war correspondent died in action in Indochina. The title said us it is a requiem for a war, but as much as anything else, this is a form of the hotmoss on the part of those who make it back from Vietnam to the memory of those who did not. The photos a walk your image not just those of the terrible and violent times, and all, of all the casualty of that what both civilians and military but image, as well for many of us of the face of the men and the women who were there. 
who were our friends and who took the very good photos. We are reminded of their bravery, of the terrible risk they took, and of course, constantly of our own good fortunes. Will correspondents always know who is real and who is not? A war yawns is not good setting for the inauthentic of spirits and heart. We who were print people and who dare only in words and not image, always knew that the photographers were the praised one, and they held in that world which begins in an era of still photographs and ends with color film and video tape banned by satellite to television stations all over the world. We can see very famous pictures of a Vietnamese mother and her children. We cross a river to escape bombs from a U.S. air strike. The room is decorating our pictures, which took by the photographers who died in Vietnam and Indochina War. We also can see Vietnam War collections. The exhibition is a gift from the people of Commonwealth Kentucky to the people of Vietnam and has been made possible by the sponsorship of United Allies, United Partial Service and Prawn Farmers Corporation. Different areas we can see lots of different pictures with different contents, such as Vietnamese War Terminators, Final Days U.S. Soldier in Vietnam. Or we even can see a lot of pictures of abnormal children of U.S. veterans who chant and drop dioxin during Vietnam War. We also can see pictures of twins were born in 25 February at Sate where was Asian orange heavily separated areas west of Comptum Central Highlands in South Vietnam. Or we also can see mangrove forests were destroyed by Asian orange. There were no bird sound nor murder of leaves. Dead good that were not as are a jungles but a boneless stretch of the standings, carcasses of ruined trees. The barefoot boy in the picture is seven years old. His name is Hung in the forest where the shoy were contented with diocines. This forest in Cap of the Camel in 1976. Dulled U.S. series Secretary of the State of U.S. Meeting of the National Committee of America's War Veterans held in Chance, Louis Marjorie, second September 1953, he told that suppose we lost Indochina. If that happened, Tin and Tung Sutton two weeks we attack such at high price. Cause easy coming does it why when United States decided to give an as up $400 million to this war. Meanwhile, in Indochina, a disparate war to host consequences are affecting our vital interest in the Western Pacific. Has interest is a year. Anyway, if all of you love to know about Vietnam long war histories, and if all of you want to know what did U.S. soldiers do during Vietnam War? Please come to this War Remnant Museum to visit. I am sure this War Remnant Museum is top one, the most interesting war museum in the world, where all of you can spend many hours to see, to read, and to understand. See of you again.